guys, it's me, Meteor, and welcome back to the Legendary Starfeed. Today we're going to be taking on Asteroid Attack, World 8-3, and Planet Bonera. Let's see what awaits us here. We'll also be going to do the finale soon. Oh, we're just here. Fantastic, I've got this train moving smoother than ever. Lucky I'm aboard the Cosmic Express, my name is Junior, by the way. You know Moto, my dad, of course. Starfeed, just relax now, this train is first class. We'll be there in no time. Chugga, 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 Conroy. Great. Can I, can I move? No, still not yet. Oh, wow, look, meteors. Heck, were those asteroids? Are we in an asteroid field? Close. Master's pirates are attacking the train. This could be a bit of a problem. Alright, what kind of weapons does this train have? Weapons? You mean like cannons and lasers, right? Yeah, we don't have those. This is a luxury train. Oh, great! We'll just fight them off with soft pillows and fancy silverware! Starfy, get out there and take care of those pirates! How? How? I got no idea! You'll figure it out! Head out that way over there on your right! Follow the arrows all the way to the roof of the train! Alright! Let's go ahead and run! Run away! To the store! Hey look, there's an arrow there made of orbs! And of course, like last time, we just go through all these doors! And hey look! Pirates outside, apparently. But there's no treasure in here. But if you kill them all, the door opens. I'll be going to each and every one to show you all of them. Of course, the secrets in here are very poorly hidden because, well, they're all inside doors. And that's it. Nothing really crazy. Hey, what's up? I can't do this. One hit. Ah, missed. Oh, well, there you go. But there's a treasure in here, by the way, if you didn't notice. Woo! You got the Cosmic Express design to spec too. If we're traveling through the space without gravity, it would be kind of dangerous, so I'll use the same materials as the castle. That will allow the crew and passengers to move in around the same level of gravity. Hmm. Sounds pretty cool. If you could actually implement that without much effort. Kind of a bit, uh, more planning than your last method, must say. Actually, I believe there's something to the very left that I missed, actually. Let's go back over there. Go all the way over to the left. Oh, never mind. It was the wrong place. Oh well, whatever. I'll hold with that later. I went through that door, right? Pretty sure I did. Sorry, this was that, right? I think. Yep, it was. Let's ignore you for now. That's fine. Oh no, we have wizards again! But that's it. Yeah, basically it's just the same exact thing we did last time, except in reverse. Instead of us heading out, we're heading in this way. So that's something different. And here, we'll see balloon fighters. Get it? Because they're fighting us and they're on balloons and it's like the game day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Can I, can I even reach those? Uh, barely. I could, I could barely reach those. Well, actually, if I jump like this, there we go. Running and jumping makes you jump higher. Wow. Fantastic news. Come on. Dang it. Perfect. Now you can die and give me your treasure, punk. Yay, all these orbs are quite a few of them. Head over here to the right, and voila, we got the treasure chest. You got a mash tooth costume. Go to the stuff screen and try it on. All right, you can dress up as a legendary space pirate who's trying to kill us. Hooray! That's, I'm sure that'll work out great. Oh well, whatever. Not really a big complaint here. Let's just go inside this door. And there's a secret in here. Woo. And voila. Hold up a sec, Star. Plan time. Count the number of bad guys you see, will ya? What are you doing? Just gonna plow in there with no info on your enemy, Starf? Come on! Well, it's up to you. Alright, fine. Alright, now look out the window and count them up. This feels familiar. Let's see. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think that was eighteen. Uh. Ah, got it right. Sweet. How many were there? What? That many? All right, now you know. Let's take care of them so we get back to Puff Top. And now we have Secret Two. Wow. We're almost out of here. We're almost done. Oh yeah, we need to head back out. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Eh, should I save? Yeah, why not? And if for a reason you want to, you could go out here and actually talk to this guy out here. Whoa, getting intense. We better head down. Mash tooth mission minions? I can't leave right now. Maybe Milk can think of something to do. Does he have an idea? Yeah, we need to reach the rooftop. So he's just gonna breathe fire for the rest of his life. I like that backdrop though. Kinda like that. Oh well. Let's jump on the cares of destiny and move up to the top of the roof. And then we'll see th these things throwing meteors at us. Just keep running. They really can't harm you at all. Keep moving. That's all we need to do. You can't actually hurt them or kill them, so don't even try to. Starfire, you gotta take care of those ships out there, but we don't have any weapons here. I got it. Use your star spin to deflect the rocks. Hopefully the rocks aren't too big. If we could just beat a few back, we should be able to make it. Good luck, Starf. All right. Now, an easy way to actually keep them in the same place is just move back and forth like this. And then eventually you will hit them. See, look at that. Yep, just move back and forth like this, and you should be able to hit them just fine. But, if you notice, the floor could crack, so you can't let too many escape. Whoops. Uh, that's not good. Alright, let three fall. Uh, that, this could be bad. But there's only one more left, so it's not really that. Oh, there we go. You did it! The Cosmic Express is safe! Great job, Starfy. Now let's go back to the others. Thanks, Starfy. You really are a legendary hero. Good work, kid. See? Did I tell you? What would you do without my brilliant ideas? Great work, Prince of Puff Top. Now sit back because we're pulling into our destination. Alright, this is as far as we can go. The castle gate is just ahead. Good luck, everyone. I hope you save Bonera from Ash Tooth. With Starfy and Mo, I think we can free my people and save Bonera. Please return safely, Prince Bunston. Alright, I think it's time to go. We'll be on patrol in the area just a little longer. You're welcome aboard the Cosmic Express anytime. Just a call. Thank you for everything, Moto. See you later, Junior. And thus they walk off and allow us to do this work on our own again. And do, do we see the train of destiny moving on the track of greatness again? Do we see the same animation clip we saw last time? All right, let's move. Time to take care of Mash Tooth. Yeah, there's not much else here. Basically, it's just a uh, straight path. We already got all the treasures and everything we needed to get. In the meantime, we're just making the last force hill we need to to get through here. And then we're done with this place. Just wait. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't hurt me. It actually went to cutscene straight as I got shot by the little fire geyser. It's kind of nice. Oh, music's changed a lot. Starfy, my people, my friends. Oh no, we're not too late. They're still alive. Everyone, just hang on just a little longer. Can you get up? It's no good. The power's been stolen by Mashtooth. They're alive but can't move. Mashtooth, how could you? 
You're gonna pay dearly for this. I promise you, you're gonna pay. Bunston, take it easy, pal. My people gave everything they had to protect me from Mashtooth. With my mother and father gone, my people are the only family that I have left. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Your parents. Yes, soon after I was born, both my parents passed away. I was very young, so I don't remember much. But Mo, you and Starfy have taught me so much. Starfy and I are both princes, but I have been the one who has been in need of constant help. It's time for me to grow up. I have to become a powerful prince. And a kind prince. But most important, a prince who can protect his people. Starfy, thank you for everything, but I have to do this on my own. I won't let it end like this. I can't. Mashtooth is going down. Gah! I didn't know that Bunston never knew his folks. It's so sad. It was the same for me, so I know what he's been through. We have to promise to help Bunston save his people, his family. Right, Starf? Yes. Ooh, that's a big door. And a castle. What awaits us in here? Oh, hey! It's a thing that looks like me, but it's Nami. It's actually trying to kill me. Whoops. You could die. You could also die. You also can die. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Because I'm not, I'm not really low in health at all, but still. Could use a safe spot. Oh, we have another one of these again. We actually need to kill all of these in this area. We don't have a choice. Because there's a door that's locked up unless we actually kill all of them. Dang it. Come on. There we go. Yay, look at all these orbs. And, all right. Perfect. Yes, we're getting near the end now. You can just feel the end game vibe entering here. All the Banarins just laying there in pain and agony. We're reaching the end point now. And thus, we have cleared 8-3. So that just leaves the final level in the main game. 8-4. Mashtooth's Last Stand. This is where it all ends. Oh, we're underwater this time. You'll also see these. Evil Pac-Man of Death that could kill you and you know, just bring you back to the start again. So, uh, they're like wall masters, basically. In 2D form. Avoid them. That's, uh, that's a key aspect here. Uh, it starts to get kind of annoying later on trying to avoid all these things. But essentially, you could kind of guide them all around to the same little corner. But still... Avoiding them is kind of difficult. We can see a treasure is up here. But where? Now, those little spike things you can still hurt. Oh, yeah, turbo and then jump. Ow. Or you can just get hurt that way. That works too. Hmm. No, I don't want to. That really shouldn't be a thing. That should seriously stop as soon as you get back into water. I, I, I don't know. That, that just... I, I personally don't like the design of that idea overall. But who am I to judge, right? Hmm. It's probably down here. Yep, right there. You got a part of Moe's diary. What's the matter? I can't read Starly for some reason. There's no communication with Puff Top Castle at all. I hope everything is alright. It seems like there's some interference with my new transmission. Uncool. Oh well, no big deal. Let's just go ahead and blast our way over this door again. I probably should have saved, but whatever, no matter. This is not the time to save. Just gotta avoid the evil Pac-Man of death. The evil Pac-Man. Oh, pirates. Come on, you carrot brains! Get up! We have to get out of here somehow! Soldier, what is going on here? My prince, what are you doing here? I, I, um, am I seeing things? No, I'm here to help save you. I knew you were alive all this time, Prince Bunston. But we are all... Matthew has stolen the power from all of us. Alright, let's just 
kill these evil pirates, which are really no big deal at all. Doesn't seem like really be much of a threat. Starfy, you are the cure for the common bad guy. Prince Bunston, we have to get you out of here. Mashu's is just ahead. No, I left once and my people needed me. That was how this whole mess got started. I won't make that mistake again. Prince Bunston, you can't. Out of my way, soldier. That's an order. I've got to help Banera before it's too late. Starfy, let's go. Yes, let's do this. Oh yeah, by the way, when there's spikes like that, you can't actually hurt them. Come on! There we go. That's... that's better. Whee! We're getting closer. I can feel it. I can feel the climax and ow. Alright, little... Okay, maybe I should actually run a little bit faster past this guy. Dang it! Seriously, hold on. How, how am I... There we go. That works. Got it. Don't care. Oh, shoot. Two of them. Alright. Now this part's kind of, uh, gets kind of annoying, but either way, we got it. We're good. Now this part, you just infinitely grind. Why? Well... You can just keep doing this over and over, and it still keeps up the same combo. So it is a great place to get orbs. You just keep doing this over and over and over and over. But I'm not going to waste my time with that. Just want to show that off. I personally think that even with that method right there, it's still easier to grind back it. World 2, where you have all those guys lined up in a quick path that can actually fire you at the same time. But you'll notice, there are two things here. There's a treasure, and there's also a hidden exit. Let's go to get the treasure first, which is right there. You got a mash tooth mask. Go to the stuff screen and try it on. Alright, let's go to the stuff screen real quick. Stuff. And look, that's our last in-game costume could get aside from the last one but we'll worry about that later mash tooth mask hey look you look kind of like mash tooth hooray let's go to our specials now and do uh mash tooth the pirate look he has a scimitar and everything oh man he's or is that a cutlass i honestly don't even know what the difference i think that's a scimitar actually that's more like a scimitar to me either way Yes, looks totally like Mashtooth now. Ready to kill and fight stuff. But, that just leaves. You have a secret exit too. You still need to go to. Let's go all the way up here. And then... Whoops. Messed up. And then just dive. Dive. And thus, you can land right there. Starfy, wait! A Banarin soldier is trapped up there! What should we do? Well, let's help him, obviously. Alright, kid, that's thinking like a prince. This is annoying. Yeah, we have an evil Pac-Man of death there, ready to actually stop us in place. If we hit him, we have to start this whole thing over again. But, hopefully, you learn by now how to actually get up here well. Thankfully, that little guy doesn't actually move very fast, so it's kind of easy to escape him. But just that initial jump is probably the hardest one out of all of them. But if you fall, that's a whole other problem for another time. By the way, we got it. Everyone safe? Good. Hey, Star, check this out. The soldier gave me his map. And we got Secret 3 added to our map. So now I have all the secret levels available at our fingertips. Woo. All that leaves now is the finale which is going to be going through this door right over here at the very top of these long winded stairs inside this door Ooh.
Oh, are you like Dracula, except instead of having a, you know, wine glass full of blood, you have a soda pop can? I've been waiting for you, Bunstein. Oh, and you brought some friends. How adorable. Mashtooth, I demand that you return my people's powers this instant. No, oh, the mysterious powers of you weakling Bonerans. The power of each and every one of you carrot munchers is mine, except yours, Bunstein. You're all that stands between me and complete dominion. Do uh, no, that's not right. Dominid. From completely taking over everything. Now I can finish the job and eat some real food. Your powers are nothing to me except a good snack. But I could eat a lot of snacks before I get full. <laughs> Eva will never win, Mush Face. What? It won't? Oh, well then I should go home if that- Wait! Yes, it will. I'm evil. I'm gonna win. You've got it all wrong, Mashtooth. We're gonna take you down. Down where? Stop confusing Mashtooth. Enough talk. Come, Bunston. I've been waiting. Yar. Oh, you can summon that. That's pretty cool. Alright, we got this, and, uh, it doesn't seem like we can actually defeat you at all. Can you jump over you? No? Let's see if we can do that either. Hmm. How do we get past that force field? It seems literally impossible to defeat you. Hmm. Maybe if I... Well... I just let myself die. I mean, nothing else we can do here. I just enjoy the music. Well, we lost. GG. See that? Graw! Weaklings! Starfy! Bunston! You are clearly outmatched! Or oh, now the power of all Bonera will be mine! Huh, no! It can't be! I won't let Mashtooth win! Bonera! Oh, Bunston, do something! Anything! What do we do? Bah, you little rodents! Now, Bunston, your time has come! And now it's my time, so your time is now my time, I guess. But now it's time to take the power of all the strongest Bonera of them all. The thought of all that power to make my stomach rumble. <laughs> well, now what? You still dare to resist me, you little pointy kid? Wh what? What's this? What's what's happening? I feel some some energy inside you. What is that power that you hold in that tiny little body? That's right, Mashtooth. In all your scheming, you forgot one really important thing. Never! I have forgotten no thing! Well, I don't remember forgetting anything. There's something even stronger than anything else in the whole universe. Friendship? Something that you and don't know about anything about. Something you can never have. I am Mashtooth. I can have anything I want. What is it? Tell me. Now. Oh, don't you worry. You're about to find out. Let's show Matthew what we're made of and show him what he'll never be able to steal. The power. Of friends! Oh, power of friendship really is the most powerful thing! <laughs> oh dear. Wow. Okay. But basically, here, you'll see him constantly jump against the wall. You just want to jump over him, basically. Real easy. Love the music, though. But, he doesn't make it that easy, basically. Now we can actually just summon thunderbolts like this. Ah, shoot, messed up. Where is he? So yeah, pretty much now, you hit him. You have to wait till he gets his, hits the wall. But in the meantime, you got to get like in between like a place like this, where you can actually be hit by in between them. So it's kind of you have to be kind of precise about that aspect. But that's really his only real trick he has. Aside from that, he's not really all too much more difficult. He could also try to inhale you as well. And do some damage that way. But, that's really his only trick he has there. And thus, he is defeated. Thud. We... We did it? We did it! 
Atta boy! Thank you both! Hee <laughs> hee! Not over yet! You're mine now! If I can only inhale Bunsen's power, I'll be unstoppable! No! Uh, never! Stop resisting! Ah! Bunsen! He's gonna turn into some giant demonic being now and threaten us with all his power. Uh. So much power! <laughs> Bunston! He's in Master Spelly! He's inside that thing! Ah! Bunston! Don't worry about me! Just stop Mashtooth! Save my people! Starfy, please! Hurry! But, kid, you'll... Yes! Hurt me! And your puny prince, too! Now, you two, you're next. Starf, what do we do now? Nothing. What can you do? You'll face an invincible power. Bwah, <laughs> no fun. We're down for a Starf. It's been great knowing ya. Paper Cut Crusher! It's you guys? You brainless traitors. You were right. Mashtooth is evil. Someone has to stop him. Hey, they don't got steam pee for babes after all. Ugh. Bunston. We've got nothing left. Get him. Do the spinny thing! Do it! Get up, big bro! Starfy! Starfy! Is that all the gumption you've got? Starfy! Starfy, come on! Come on! Go for it, Starf! Get up! No time for a nap! Sock him for me! Yes! The power of friendship is going! Go, Starfy! You're a hero! Oh, man. He's going... He's going... He has so much friendship in his body. He's, like, powered with it. He could even fly. He's just so powerful. Love the music here, by the way. We're fighting the 3D monster of death. Mash Tooth in his final form. He's honestly not really that difficult. He's actually quite simple. It actually takes two hits on each one to actually do damage to him. You can even attack him behind him too, so you can do that as well. But uh, you have to be careful because his electric attacks could do uh, some damage to you. But after a while, he starts pulling to the background there and attacking you that way. And of course, you'll see spin to deflect! You have to actually hit those back at him by spinning into them. But they could always miss too. They could also hit you as well. Ah, missed it. Ah, dang it! No! Alright, did they get one? Yes, there we go. 
And now he flies back to the foreground and does the same thing again with the lightning bolts. Those are really his only two tricks. But he stays in the background played more often recently than later. And they keep on telling you to spin to deflect thing in case you're not aware of how to do it yet. I personally think this guy could have used a couple more attacks, but eh, can't really complain. Eventually, he'll start shooting lightning bolts and shooting these at you at the same time. But of course, now he's going to fly back into the foreground. In which case, you could just do this to him constantly. But his head's really the only spot that actually is vulnerable. His back itself, or his tail, is not. And I hit the third one. I got all three of them. Nice. And that should be it. But not quite. There's still one part left. It's not really an actual battle, though. Hold on, I gotta get ready for this. Gotta get prepared for this. Gotta position my 3DS just right. Wonder why he's called Mash Tooth? Well, you're going to see. You have to mash Y as quick as you can. And knock this thing back at him. This took me forever before I knew how to mash Y quickly or mash buttons in general very quickly. But uh, now I have a lot better at that, so it's a lot easier to do. Come on, come on, Sasha, you got this, you got this, come on, come on, come on, come on, got this. Yes! Power! You could do it, Starfy! Starfy finally defeated the vicious space pirate Mash Tooth, returning the stolen power back to the Bonarans. The Bonarans were safe again. They cheered for Bunston, proud of their young prince. Starfy returned badly, hurting from the battle with Mashtooth. Starfy! Everyone crowded around the hero, worrying. Oh, Starfy! Are you okay? Prince Bunston, who is this? Bunston told them all the tale of his great adventure and how Starfy helped him. Wow, so this is the Prince Starfy. We've heard so much about him. He's hurt? We have to help him fast. Oh, cool. They have little powders you can launch at you and actually heal him. That's pretty neat. The Bonarians use their powers to heal Starfy's injuries. Ack! It's them! Haven't you done enough? Prince Bunston! Now's our chance! Payback time! Once and for all! Hey guard guys! Hold it! These guys ain't exactly good eggs. But without their help, we would have been nothing but a snack in Mash 2's belly. Can you find it in your hearts to forgive these knuckleheads? They know they messed up, so let's give them a chance to apologize. That takes some real guts. 
We're sorry. We messed up. Now hold on. All that trouble you caused, we can't let you off the hook that easy. Ah, I got it. You gotta beat Starfy in a game of rock, paper, scissors. If you can beat him, we'll cut you some slack. What do you think, Prince? That sound fair? Uh-huh. Make me proud. Don't go easy on him, Starf. Okay, you're on. On the count of three. I win! I win! I win! Yay! Yay! Starfy, I'm on to you, kid. You lost on purpose. You can't fool me. That's Star for you. Good thing it all worked out. Everything's all nice and quiet again, eh, Star? Yeah. Almost as quiet as Puff Top. Well, it's about that time. I say we set a course for home. And thus ends the main story of the legendary Starfy. So, it's at this point where I'm usually going to uh, talk about how much I enjoyed the Let's Play or whatever. And... While I enjoyed this game very much, and I love the charm and everything about this game, this game was so painfully annoying to edit. Oh my gosh. It, between, between having to flip the screen so often in this game, because for some reason they thought it was a great idea to have the conversations on the bottom screen and have the main action on the top screen, so they constantly flip back and forth, and also with the comic... whatever. Having to render each screen individually... And also the fact my game got corrupted to the point where I had to replay the entire game all over again. This whole Let's Play has just been a nightmare. And if I remember just how many times I had to flip the screens in order to actually do this game, I probably would have passed on it and actually did something else like Super Princess Peach, which is also made by the same developer and actually plays very similar to this game. But honestly, after I'm done with all this and everything, while it was a pain, I'm glad I actually have like a finished product that I'm proud of. It, it, it takes a lot of work, but being able to actually say I did it and actually look back at it, it's enjoyable. And I'm sure maybe some people actually enjoyed it too. I, overall, I really enjoy the Let's Play. And of course, there's still more to go. Yeah, I'm not quite done with Let's Play. I still have, there's still two more worlds after this, plus the secret in World 8. But uh, yeah, there's still more to go and I will be doing that as well. But the main story and everything is now done here. So that's good. We finished all that up, all the main treasures we got in the main game. We got all that, so we're we're set. So that's fun. As in terms of what I'll be doing for my next let's play, well, after I do this, I'm gonna be doing something, doing something maybe a little bit easier, something that'll probably be a snap to edit. So worry about that later. Anyway, I'll see Bunston. A big thanks from Starfy. Come play again sometime. The end. Although not really, because there's still two more worlds left. Although not affiliated with the story. Well, I guess once affiliated with the story. But it's not like a... Well, you'll see. P.S. A new stage has been unlocked. Stage 9. Puff Top. On top of that, Sea Dunes toys and Big Boss are not... Big Boss Down are now in Moe's case. Starfy's adventure isn't over yet. And if you get 100% in the game, you'll see Starfy there, now with sunglasses on the main local screen. Which is kind of cool. But, uh, you'll notice, when you go to our adventure here, let's go to file 2, and play that. We'll actually see, well actually, it's, wait, what, what am I doing? I went back to the main screen again. Crap. I thought I was at the selection screen. Let's try this again. I'll, I'll, okay. We go all the way over, stage 5, 7, 8, 9, 
Stage 9 is Puff Top, where you play as Starly the entire time. But this story here actually takes place between World 3 and 4, the time when Puff Top was attacked, and the time before the terrible trio turned good, before they actually went over to the swamp area. This actually takes place in the story of what happened over in Puff Top. So it's kind of like a neat little side story. But uh, you'll also notice in Moe's case, well I'll show that off later, there's also a boss rush mode. And if you beat that boss rush mode in about 8 minutes I think it is, you'll actually unlock another world after you beat World 9. So we will be doing all those things. Thankfully what's nice about, you know, Puff Top and the world there, is that now we're all done with the treasures. There's no more, you know, heavy searching for stuff. You just play through the levels quickly, enjoy them as it is, without having to focus so much on finding treasures. So that's gonna be it. So next time we're the Legendary Star, we'll be heading to World 9, Puff Top, and having a little fun time with Starly. See you guys then.